Hello friends, welcome to another video. I'm National Master Rafael Leite and I'll be playing these 10 minute games here on chess.com, okay? So this is a special account. Everybody that loses against me will get their points refunded. So our opponent uh, just uh, gave up and um, yeah, he aborted actually. And uh, we're developing, wow, this guy develops fast. Okay, so this 1900 players are already too fast and too dangerous. We're simply developing, give me that pawn. Give me that pawn. Okay, I, I'm holding on. I'm, I'm, I want my pawn. I want my pawn. Okay, I want my pawn. So knight e5 he's gonna play, right? Knight e5 seems a good move. Queen c7, I guess. Let's do it. So I'm holding my pawn. Like, I got the pawn and I don't want to give him back. <laughs> Let's see what happens, how it goes on. I think I got a good square for my knight on b4. Hmm, I think a6 is pretty solid. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, this is pretty dangerous. Okay, this is pretty dangerous. What are you trying to do? We do sack here, but I don't know. Just get, get this bishop out of here. Are you gonna play this? Fancy, but I think I, I, I win here. Because I take here, you take my rook, and I take here, but the knight cannot go back. Okay, you got some ideas of queen h7. Okay, this is gonna be pretty fun. Because he, he's no longer gonna have the, the, the defender on the light squares and checkmates, checkmate threats are possible. Of course, the, the bishop d6 was probably safer than what I'm playing. I don't know if it's better or not, but it's safer, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> this crazy attack that I just launched. And now he's thinking, now he's not playing fast anymore. Fast moves are over. Now he's thinking. I think knight g6 is pretty. Decent move here. He can try that and then take and then take. And then the position is pretty dangerous because he can push here. He go, he go, yeah, yeah, this is the way to go, definitely. And yeah, let's see how it goes. We are going for this. And now he's being really, really careful here. I think I gotta take the bishop. I mean, there's... I gotta go for this fight. All right, and then he's going there. And then there. But I defend here. Let's take it. Let's take it. All right, so uh, maybe you wanna play g6 here. C5 takes first. Mm, this is bold. Let's just go here first. So now that the knight is trapped and the queen is no longer invading the position. And we keep this threat. I feel very good here, very confident in this position. And okay, he, he needed to sack a little bit. So I feel, do feel great here. So I get two pieces for the rook, right? Yeah, two pieces for the rook. Should be good for black. Should be good for black here. Whoa, you allowed me to do this with the tempo and then... Okay, but I can even play here and then there. But I can also play here, which I find is stronger. Because now the rook is protected. All right, so here he goes. He protected a little bit. And uh, I think I can just remove the knight from the game and bring my pieces. Or I can just leave this poor knight where it is. Oh, he's going to play e4 and get a strong center. I think it's time to take the knight to the game. Let's postpone it. I'm postponing the decision of capturing the knight. Okay, this is a strong center. But maybe it's time to attack it. Or maybe I got to take the knight first. Yeah, let's go for this. Because now this pawn is not attacked anymore. If captures with the pawn, then I have a passer. Yeah, it was a good... I, I'll have a passer anyway. Take to the rook, I exchange the rooks and... All right, so I think this move makes a lot of sense. Yes, so now we're striking the center. Opening up lines for the bishop. It's tough to push those pawns without creating weaknesses. And my knight is jumping, you know, my knight wants to go here. 
If I get my knight there, then like this knight is worth a rook and then he's in trouble. So he needs to counter with a4 at some moment. And maybe now. Anyway, I will have two passers. So, all right, this was a good move. This was a good move. So he wants to play a4. So I need to break. First of all, I need to break this center. And uh, he cannot play here, not there. Okay, so I can just take. And now I have this tough decision, but I think I need to protect the knight. Because then I can play queen c5 and so on, or, or even knight, or maybe even knight c5 here immediately. Seems good. Because then I'm threatening rook there. Yeah, probably slightly better. Or even here, maybe. What is the difference? What is the difference between them? I think this one I'm, I'm, I'm blocking the queen, but I'm not sure this is the right way to think. And here I'm blocking my queen. Okay, he will play this after this, because I play here, he takes. All right. But if I play here and he plays here, then I can play this. So I think this is slightly better than knight here, right? Yeah, it seems the knight will become more active. I'm not sure what I'm talking about, but... Okay, he will be able to play this first. No, then I put the knight there. Okay, so we spent a little, a um, very significant amount of time on this move. So more than one minute, actually one minute and eight seconds, according here to chess.com stats. And um, it was necessary. So that's why we played fast in the, in the beginning of the game. So then we can, you know, take those sharp positions and... Think a little bit more. So this will be countered by this, and this will be countered by this. Okay. All right. So then I think we need to improve the position of the rook a little bit before going with the knight. It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Okay. We can also force the. No, we cannot force anything. So let's just uh, do this. So we are grabbing. Uh, space here and I think that he, for example this is oh my gosh he's in trouble also Queen is coming anytime soon all right so that was a wise move did he take an upon no so I think I gotta play this right so I protect my Queen yeah maybe it's not necessary but I, if I can play this I will play this so now I'm protecting my queen. He's attacking the pawn, so I gotta push the pawn. So he will have a passer as his, for his own. Maybe I can take it. Maybe I just can push it. So many possibilities here. Another nice possibility is to play this. Because then he's forced to exchange. His rook has attacked. He cannot take the pawn, and we go for the end game. Maybe I should have played this, but no, this is fine. This is fine. So this is possible to exchange the queens, but I don't think it's the way to go. Let's just do that. As I just pointed out. So you're gonna take with the queens. If you take with the queen, maybe I check and then push the pawn, right? So this rook is under attack. So maybe I can check, so I can maybe bring the bishop now to protect my rook. So get the queen out of here. Oh, this was stronger, I think. This is still possible in the future, not now anymore. Not now anymore, but okay. We just can't have everything. So you do want to exchange. Now you're afraid of my attack, so. Um, I don't know, maybe I don't want to exchange pieces at this point. Oh, my knight is hanging, but I'm checkmating him. I think I am. 
Let's just calculate this for a while. I do this, he take the knight. I do this, he cannot protect, but he can go back like this. And then, there's no check for him, right? Oh, there's this on c7. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, his pieces are just coming, so... Okay, maybe I gotta take... Maybe I gotta play with the knight, because then he takes, I take... And... But I'm not sure. This is also a fair move. I'm gonna play here and keep the pieces on the chessboard. If he attacks my knight now... If he attacks my queen now, I go with the knight. Yeah, I don't want to exchange at this point, so now f2 is a threat. Now my knight is no longer attacked. What? He has to play this? Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I think this one is the move. He needs to play. So he protects that square. Oh, okay, he's just jumping out, so now the game is over, right? Okay, I think that he made a mistake, and we do have enough time, let's go for the next game. He's gonna resign at this point, I think. Resignable position. Yeah, he resigned the game. Uh, very tough one, very very interesting, those 1900 players. Oh, he was, he was um, yeah, 1900. Uh, are really tough, so there was a mistake here at the opening, let's take a look at that. And yeah, we finished the game uh, very well, so let's see, I could I could have lost the game, so why? Where was that? So so far so good, so now, oh, I don't think I'm losing here, but it's a miss. Oh, because I could simply take the pawn. Not easy line, not easy line. So if he takes queen c5, that's the point? No. No, then just take, oh, okay, he cannot capture, sorry about that. <laughs> Just, um, okay, so queen takes was possible. Bishop e3, maybe, bishop e4, okay, the knight is hanging. Yeah, that was good. That was, so that definitely queen was a miss. But I wanna see here, I'm, I'm worse here. So he, he has this move, which I didn't consider, neither did he. So I go here, he takes, I take, and now queen takes h7, right? Yeah, yeah, this line is powerful. This line is powerful. So knight h5 was so, I, I needed to play safe here. Okay, let's play safe next time. <laughs> let's play safe next time. So this was just um, unnecessary risks going on. So let's go for another, another game. We are going towards the center. We are developing our pieces. We want to protect our king. So that's what we're doing, okay? And this is called the Russian defense or Petrov. And uh, he's attacking this, the defender of this pawn. Will he take it? Will he take my knight? I don't think so. So I'm just castling, not too worried about my pawns. Now I am. But he wants to play the... Okay, I take the pawn if you do it. I take the pawn if you do it. If you play the... Okay, so... Let's just do this. So now my bishop can... I can keep my bishop in the game. Okay, I I'll just uh, remove your... Your bishop from here. And I think I will remove your bishop from the game. Can you avoid it? I don't think you can. So I do have the bishop pair, which I think is a good move already in the beginning. And I, was there a pawn hanging here? I don't think there was, right? Uh, maybe there was possibly hanging. Yeah. Okay. No problem. We have to, we had to choose the pawn or the bishop pair, but okay then. Uh, I don't have to immediately capture that. and But I will. But I will. Let's do this. Let's protect a rook, which is important because there was an immediate threat going on. And now maybe I can push d4 in the future, but I need to prepare that. Hmm. It was a good move. Maybe I need to capture. What, I capture and push c4? Seems like a good idea, but maybe I can push this knight right away and allow him to capture there, doesn't seem right. Maybe I need to keep the bishop. I'm gonna keep the bishop. <laughs> okay, and then maybe I'm fighting better for the center. Yeah, I do like this move. I do like to keep the bishop. 
because taking him would help him to have a strong center, good space, and not taking would allow him to double my pawns, read the road, lose the tempo, and uh, okay, so I think I need to put another defender here on my center pawn if I want to push my pawn, and now his knight is pinned, now this knight is pinned, so he's not uh, that strong anymore, so let's just take it. Uh, let's just push the pawn. Okay, but now my queen is under attack. What, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think I want to go here then. Right? Seems the right way to go. Queen e2, queen e3. Yes, that's the right way to go. He cannot play this because I simply take and then I'm threatening the rook. So he wants to push f5. Really? That's bold. That's bold. So now we're not pinned anymore. That means our knight has a great job here. But is he pushing f5? I don't think he can do it. I just take. But no, he's not definitely not playing f5. Okay, so maybe it's time to defend the bishop. So I can in some lines push d4. And my bishop is protected. Can I take and push d4 right away? I can, and it seems good. And it seems good. Why not to immediately play this? Oh, okay, he's threatening to capture on F3 only now. I saw it. So he's threatening to capture there. So I could play this or I can even play this. Two moves are possible here. G4 is forcing, but then my king is having a little bit of trouble in the future. His queen is misplaced, so then I can play this, but then I have a strong pressure there. Hmm. Fair enough. So if I go here and there, it's another possibility. And maybe rook f1 and f4 and leave the spawn here. It's another possibility. I do like it. Let's do it. Knight h2, rook f1, and then f4. I can play f4 immediately, but not with the queen on f3. Okay, so his pieces are coming, so he wants some attack here. But now I think f4 works, because I do here, he takes. I take the queen, he takes my queen. I take a knight, he takes, and I take the pawn. But then I'm not winning anything. So maybe I need to prepare that f4 idea. Okay, knight g4. Seems a good move, but I like his queen where it is. Again, does this f4 idea work? f4, he takes, I take. He takes my queen, I take the knight. Yeah, I win a pawn, right? I win a pawn. And what if he takes with the queen? f4 takes with the queen, and I takes, he takes. Then he wins a pawn. Eh? Then he wins a pawn, apparently. So not good line. Not a good line. So maybe rook f1 so I can push f4. But the point is that f4 is never working with my queen here. Then I would have to lose another tempo here. Or maybe here. But uh, again, this is not working with my queen either on e3 or g3. So rook f1, I'm still not threatening that. How about h4? Well, not. Okay, I, I'm just playing. I need to play something. Okay. All right, so far so good. So I think that now queen e2 now is possible, followed by, f, by rook f1 and f4. Okay, so I need to spend a few moves here. So, 
pair of bishops against pair of knights. He's attacking there. Let's just defend it. So I just defended it. The pawn. Not immediately playing bishop to c4, but it's a move that is in the air. Is in the air. He can never play this. I simply take. So he blundered. <clears throat> he probably lost the game here. A bad move throws all good moves away. That is chess. He makes a bad move and everything just go, just uh, drops, fall apart. And that's especially truth in this in this level, eighteen hundred. This is especially truth here. You know, you know, one mistake here just most of the times is enough to. Okay, I'm not pushing f4 because his knight can come here at any time in the future, or should I? Yeah, but it's so tempting to push f4 here. So tempting. What is the plan? f4, e5? I don't know. f4, queen f3 makes more sense. f4, queen f2 much more sense. Makes, makes sense, but this pawn would be hanging. So maybe f4, f5, and then queen f2. It makes sense, but uh, yeah, his knight will have to go all through this way, all this way to try to come to the game. So how about this and then g5 and start a king side attack? Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Let's just do it. Let's do it before he plays something. He start attacking me, which I don't want because I do have some Advantage in the position, I guess. And uh, okay, let's start a king side attack. So for that, I think queen f2, but I hang here. It's also hanging there, then it hangs here. So we don't want that, right? So let's keep our plan. Let's keep our original plan. So queen e5 makes sense here. E5 makes a lot of sense, but then I think queen f3, not queen f2 anymore, because I'm 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 worried about this. Oh, I played a bad move here. So maybe queen f2 was better. Okay, not the end of the world. I'm still playing queen f4. Anytime soon. Three minutes on the clock. That's a little bit a concern. That's a little bit of a concern. Not easy to take this knight out of here now, but I don't think it's a serious problem because I'm playing rook f1 and maybe pawn to f6. I can even play pawn to f6 right away if he doesn't play it. I don't know if it's worth doing it, actually. Maybe rook f1 first is... Let him play f6. Let him play f6. Okay, it's not going to be easy to invade the position here. Maybe rook c1, c3... and. Queen c2. It's more promising, but he can put the, the rook on the a column. And then I won't have such a such a possibility. So now I'm thinking about maybe this followed by this followed by this. It's pretty strong, right? Yes, yeah, pretty strong. Maybe immediately this, because then I got the central pawn. Yeah, maybe b5 immediately is good. So it's good that he's spending time because I was so low on time. But I think this one is really powerful. There, he just uh, gave me the pawn for nothing. Let's just take it. He just gave me the pawn for nothing. So let's just take it. He just take. He, he just gave me the pawn. So I think he blundered. Unless he's got some attack that I'm not seeing, but he, he wants to bring the, his queen there. But then, he, okay, he wants to definitely bring his queen there. So uh, let's just not allow this. So we just go back. We pick the pawn and we go back. And now queen on f3 will be a really good square for the queen. So, okay, we are fine here. So knight here, I restrict him. Now I do have a strong center. Let's just play this because the pawn is pretty much protected. 
And he goes with the knight again, we push it. This is gonna be fun. So he cannot move the knight. Maybe I need to play c3 just to protect those pawns. Okay, we just push it. Takes with the queen, I take with the rook. Takes with the pawn, I take with the rook. So I'm threatening to capture the knight here, and I, I don't worry about uh, queen takes rook. Oh, so b7 pawn is hanging. Here. And also I'm threatening to capture the pawn right away, but I can also play this, which is really annoying. Ooh, this is super annoying, because I'm threatening to capture with a check. But simply taking here is possible, you know, he goes here, he goes here, I, he goes here, I attack his rook, he has to go back, and then I take here, and then that's falling apart there. So I think this is enough. This is enough to win. So I got two minutes, and I think he's, I think he's forced to go through this line. Yeah. Now he goes back with the rook, and I take a lot of pawns here. He's fighting. He's fighting. I can even take here first. What he just do? There's a very light, very nice length here, I think. He takes with the check I covered with the queen. He takes the pawn, I do a check here. He goes away and I do this. Oh, but he still got a check here. He still got a check here. Hmm. So maybe this is enough. Because he takes, he loses the knight. No, knight, his knight is going back. Hmm. How about this move? Not working. So I got one minute. This line is very interesting, but he's gonna pick up this pawn. Yeah, it's not working. Or maybe I gotta just take here. Ah, just go for this. All right. I can also play very safe here, just go back. Okay, so he cannot take here because the knight is hanging. So I think it's a good line, so just now I realized I got one minute. So that's what he's trying to, to do, he's trying to, maybe I forget my clock. And okay, so now the game is completely over. He's trying to checkmate me, <laughs> very interesting. He's trying to checkmate me. You know, if his king was here, he could take here and I promote and no, not even would, would it would not, not even that would work. So, okay, this is check. This is check again. And just push the pawn. Push the pawn. Is he going to resign or try to flag me? That's the question. So just take. All right, there. So here, so you're not sacrificing your knight. Oh, there, then check, then the knight is done. Give me the knight. All right. So we're just promoting him and checkmating in a few moves. All right, so that was a good game, and uh, let's take the let's get a review here. Was that a good accuracy or not? Uh, wow, it was very good actually, and uh, the opponent played very well. But we can see in the chart here where he made a mistake. He played far above his level, and uh, yeah, that was the crucial mistake. So he shouldn't have played it. So before that, I think it was balanced. Yeah, pretty much balanced. Uh, queen g6 is possible, queen f6, rook ed8, so he can get out of the pin, so many moves are possible, but this just uh, is enough to, to be in a bad situation. And then we had to convert it, yeah, you know, try to find good moves, f5 was, was not the best shot, but 
then he blundered the pawn and here we are although we didn't make the best moves no, you know here we are and now queen takes b7 is the right choice here so i'm happy to have found it queen e3 was possible but i played on the safe side and okay let's go for the next game so very interesting one uh strong opponents from now on very strong opponents from now on can we reach 1900 i don't think we reach 1900 today okay so we are simply developing he, de he develops very fast and uh, okay, so b5 immediately. Well, all right. So let's let's play some funny variations here. Let's try to open up some lines and uh, create some problems on him. So has he played this already? Because he's playing so fast that I think that he probably already played this in the past. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know, who knows, um, bishop to g5 is interesting here, if he plays f6, so I gambit this pawn, but I don't have to do it, let's just play safe, let's just play safe, we don't have to play bishop g5 right now, but I will do it, um, so I'm provoking him to push f6, Whoa, that was bold. He really wants to, to, to get my rook? I will be happy. Just go back and be happy with the pawn. Just don't take my rook. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose quickly. You're gonna lose quickly. All right, so this is gonna be fast and, and, and really, really fast and an and, and, and obvious win. So um, yeah, I could, I could simply, you know, get my piece back here, get material back. Or I can, you know, try to checkmate him. Um, just going back here and, 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 and then going for the dark squares. But if it's, it, it is so juicy now to, you know, get the piece back, then I'm going to do that. So now his rook is under attack and his, you know, his position is collapsing. So I think he, he needed to go back. He took the pawn, he go back. But it's hard not to take a, a, a rook on e1. So that's not, I, I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. So he wants to play knight a5? Hmm. Alright, so if I can put my knight here, I would be good here, but he's not allowing that. But maybe I'll play here and then there and then there, but and then take here. Yeah, let's go for that. So now I give this square to my knight. This is interesting. This is a very interesting continuation. And I'm bringing my pieces to the attack. So is he going to with the rook on the seventh? Or maybe he's going to play h6? Doesn't matter. I'm playing here next move. I can also go here in the future. So here? All right. So we're bringing the pieces. Pieces are coming. Oh, you allowed me to come. Wow, that was bold. You're getting mated. Not immediately, but this is truly, truly dangerous line he chose. He's going to play h6 after I play h4 here, right? What is the best way to continue here? I think it's, I think I gotta go here because then I'm threatening two pawns. And then I can push h4 here, right? So he will try to double the rooks on the seventh. But I don't think it's gonna work. Let's see what happens. So I'm not getting mated now because I got this square and I protected my knight, so. This is going to be very, very dangerous. Okay, can I... What can I do? Should I go back? This is truly risky, right? Yeah, it's, it doesn't make any sense, but here maybe it does make sense, because I'm protecting here. And then my rook is able to, to play. But I'm just out of the game, so 
maybe here and if he tries to yeah I think that this is better but then I'm no longer threatening there so yeah I'm, I'm going here I'm going here okay so he went for the exchanges okay so there's a pawn hanging there he just protected so um, there are many ways to continue he wants to go here after those pawns and um, how can I go on h5 is interesting but maybe only after I play the if he plays g5 then what to do f4 I don't think so okay there is a check here but this is not doing a lot so g4 is possible he checks me here I go here then there is no danger actually let's go g4 seems like a risky idea seems like a very risky idea the point is that now I want to play h5 followed by f4 Because if I do this, he's going to push it, right? So g5, so h5 immediately. I'm trying to open up lines here for the attack. And if he pushes and then here, let's try this. Let's see what happens now. This pawn is hanging, and I know it, but I'm just giving everything uh, on this game, on this position right now. Yep. Okay. Still protect my knight. Okay. So I gotta go here. He wants to draw. Maybe his, he wants to draw. Is he trying to do something like this? All right, so I can go here, right? Yeah. If he checks me here, I gotta go back here. I cannot longer here because then I'm hanging a piece. So, um, yeah. All right. So we are attacking now. We are in the game now. It's going to be hard for him to survive. Am I being too optimistic? And I do have a passers now. I do have very dangerous pawns. So I can go here. He cannot check me. And I'm pushing the pawns. Where else can I go? I can go here as well. Yes. But I want to keep my pieces. Okay, he's starting to march there, right? So how about this check here? So he's got to go. He wants to protect the pawn now. So he's probably going here. And then I can push the pawn, actually. Let's see this. So it's going to be hard for him, I guess. It's going to be very interesting. So I'm going to push the pawn, right? Maybe this and then this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Because chances are I'm checkmating him in the future like this and this and that. Oh, sorry. This and that. This and that after this. It's checkmate. And I got another good pawn here. So, okay. He's trying to draw, I think. So, maybe I can just play here. Attacking the rook. He cannot go here because of the knight. So he cannot go here, not here, not here, not here. He can go there. But I don't think it's good. So, right, so it seems like a good move. We are attacking the rook. So if I go here, he get a tempo there. So, okay, are you gonna sack the rook? Not, not yet, but now you have to. Because I can play even this move. Now, which one is better and why?
okay, this is still going to be dangerous. So he, he will have to sack the rook, okay? That's for sure, but um, that's for sure. So maybe this is stronger because now I'm threatening this, but and protecting this pawn, right? So this is going to be really, really tough now. Because what if he plays this? Yeah, so maybe this is simple, simple. And yeah, we need to play fast now. He, he will have to capture with the rook. There? No, you made a blunder. Okay, now the game is over. And uh, how can we counter? How can we stop those pawns? That's the question. I think I need to bring my king. Also push this pawn. Okay, so now we touch this. And he's gonna check me, I go here, he pushed the pawn, my bishop goes back. Okay, so maybe I should go immediately here, no. So here's the way to go, two minutes on the clock. So now we stop the pawn, and this pawn is doomed. So we just take it. Now we go after the other. Okay, now this is, he took a piece. Now that was wise, but I think I'm still winning. I should have checked him and, and, and I fell for that, but I got a good passer here. All right, so you wanna go for this end game. Let's do it. Now this pawn is like gold. I can I can lose everything but that pawn. So um, yeah, let's just go for that. Can my king stop the pawn? I think my king can stop his pawn. If I if I get my king to f2, then I'm fine. If I can if I can get my king to the f2 square, then I'm fine. So let's try to do that. Okay, let's just a uh, little tactics here going on because now I'm threatening to get the bishop. So knights are really dangerous, and I gotta go with my king on f2. If I get my king there, the game is over. Right, was a good one. So you still cannot, you still cannot go there. Hmm. All right, so maybe here now. Yeah, good move. So maybe knight my knight, maybe now my knight can jump to a four. I'm still not being able to to push my pawn. So if I put my knight here and my bishop here, then my king is free to go. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way to go. Yes, that's the way to go. Now he, his king needs to go back all the way down. Okay, then the game is just over. And I would need to show that I can checkmate him with the king and... <laughs> um, I would need to checkmate with uh, knight and bishop. Let's do it. Let's do it. Knight and bishop checkmate. It's really tough. So first thing is to join my pieces. Bring the king, so checkmate will be given on the dark square, okay? So, okay, let's just, just uh, push him there. Right, so you're making things easy here. So now, yeah, mate. 
Yeah, guys, this is the checkmate. He didn't make the best the, uh, the, the best defense on the on this knight and bishop checkmate, but I think he could uh, be more. You know, he could put more trouble there. But uh, yeah, it was hard. We needed to to do one of the most difficult checkmates in chess which is the bishop and knight, but he, he should have gone with the king to the other side of the board. And uh, here there was a, uh, a situation where I could lose the game here. There is a oh, there is a checkmate in one here <laughs> that I could have lost the game. So very dangerous uh, approach I had here. So knight e8, so maybe I should go for the, the draw here, but this, I wanted to win and I could have immediately lost, but now I'm winning, but now I'm winning. Okay, so taking with the king was better actually. So there's mating nine. Okay, so it was really tough to find. Oh, there's mating two here. And why not? Check and checkmate. <laughs> okay, guys, not the best day in my life today, but uh, luckily I'm winning though against those 19, 1800 players. So let's go for the next one. I think we do have time for the last one. So definitely not the best day in my life. But it's working. If it's working, it's working. Okay. So, a very tough game, a uh, very tough player from India. And uh, we're going for a symmetrical opening here. Yeah, this is tough. I need to defend G7. This is advanced stuff. So, those 1800 plus, plus players are advanced. And now I need to defend G7. I've played this a few times. Now my threat is D5, which is attacking the queen, so that's why he went back. And I was simply developed, not allowing him to capture on F7, and the game goes on. So now many things can happen from here. You know, D5 is possible, but D6 is more solid. Mm. D5 is very interesting. D6, more solid. h5 also possible, h5, h4, so I can play bishop here and the, the, the queen can no longer go there and then I get some threats here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Let's, let's try some, some different approach here. I think I never played h5, h4 here. So that's the first time that this comes to my mind and it, it looks really good. Okay, now he's attacking there, but okay, I think I can play I think I can play h4. Let's keep doing that. If he wants to double my pawns, he can do it. Okay, he wants to double my pawns, but now I got a, you know, I got a very good position. Very decent. His knight is kind of restricted a little bit. I got a pretty decent position. This pawn is gonna be attacked, but I can defend it pretty easily. And I got a strong attack here, so... Um, okay, king g7, but why? He, only because of that. I can, I can just play this. If he checks me, I go here, and I'm fine. So, uh, but I think I need to develop my light squared bishop. So let's just keep developing. Bishop here or there? What did he just do? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay, that was. I, we don't even. We don't even need to analyze. Just uh, the, the only one moment earlier, it was completely balanced. So you can see the evaluation bar now, and this is completely balanced. So we don't even have to analyze these games. He just uh, got distracted, and uh, we can go for the next game. So he got distracted. That happens. Let's go for the next one. Okay, this is the Sicilian defense. Let's play main lines here. Let's play main lines. He wants to play main lines, let's play main lines. Okay, he's going for the dragon. Okay, the accelerated dragon. This is a good opening. I'm going to play this with bishop to e2 against the dragon. And yeah, I can castle here, but I can also I can also go wild. I will go wild. Queen d2 probably was better first, but okay. So I've, I've seen these lines, so he's gambit, not really gambiting upon because he takes, I take. And then I, I'm not uh, being, I'm not winning a pawn here. I'm not winning a pawn here, but uh, yeah, I can take and push, but not sure this is the right way to go. Okay, maybe he wants just to exchange everything. We can do this. 
you know, we do 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 and c3. Okay, let's do that. Let's play the end game. <laughs> Unless he takes with the pawn. Okay, he took with the knight. What is he gonna do? Check. I just go back. I don't think it's working. So I think you need to capture either with the pawn or with the queen. So I can do that now. Uh, e5 is coming. Okay, very nice. So, okay, so I think c3 is fine. Yeah, c3 is fine. So he didn't win too wild with e5, so let's just castle and play king h1, very safe. Should I stop this pawn or maybe he should play the. Oh, okay, I see now. He wants to weaken that. Hmm. Interesting idea. And when he comes here, he can play this, then he takes here, go here. And he took go away, and okay, this is gonna be tough. Maybe queen a4 then. Yeah, definitely. Because if bishop, then bishop b5, then exchanges, and okay, b2 is hanging. So okay, I think we need some protection here. Uh, maybe f4 followed by this. It seems fine. I do like this f4 move, not allowing e5, and also giving room for the bishop, and also I'm threatening bishop d4, trying to, you know, take this piece which is the strongest for him, for sure. So yes. So you want to exchange the light square bishop, don't you? Let's do it. Okay, so this is a pretty balanced position, and I'm count and I'm hoping that I will outplay him on the end game, but I'm not sure I will. So he looks like a very strong player. But I do have a pawn majority on the queen side, which it could be very concerning for him. Yeah, I'm gonna play a4 and then b4. And he should be concerned about this because my pawn majority is distant from his king. So that means that um, it's going to be more dangerous for him to play against this queen, queen side pawn majority. So all right, so now he's thinking. So we, do it, we did exchange and now b4 is a no-brainer, right? I think it is. So immediately going with the pawn, with the pawn majority. Immediately, immediately pushing them. Well, this is concerning for him. Well, b4 immediately. So rook a3 here seems fine. But I'm, okay, this is a good move. But uh, now things are going to happen. Rook c5 followed by a4. I think I need to get my king on h2. Hmm. Okay, maybe e3 first. Alright, so I think this is... I think h3 here is a trap. Is he gonna take the pawn and lose the game? He lost the game. Thank you. <laughs> Give me the queen, and this is gonna be checkmate next move. Okay, so we made a little, little trap, and it worked out, and that's fine for today. Let's just analyze this game, which was very, very interesting, and uh, I think it was pretty much balanced until last move, just like the other game. So yeah, we made a very, very high accuracy, and the game was really balanced. And h3 is a good move, actually. And uh, yeah, h3, h4 are the main moves here. <laughs> I'm pretty happy to have found it. Because, you know, he wants so much to take this. And it seems like a defensive move. It seems like I'm desperate here. That's the good thing about this move. You know, this, 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 this seems like, oh my God, I'm giving up a pawn because I'm in danger on... on I'm in danger on the back rank, so it feels like this is a very defensive move, and now he comes very greedy, and then as the game is just over, he has to go back, and this is checkmate. So that's the danger of the back rank, and, uh, and combined with the queen taking on the dark squares. So it worked, but, you know, after h3, he can just uh, play something else. Not easy to find queen b8, not easy to find. 
And uh, there are many ways we could go on. There is this strange line, which I'm... Okay, this is computer stuff. I would simply defend here. Oh, he can take here. Okay, so I would be a little bit in trouble here, but uh, can I not... Oh, because he's gonna he's gonna sack the queen here. Uh, let's see what happens here. No, I can play this definitely. Okay, it's gonna be tough to defend the position. It's gonna be tough. So definitely, it, it he could he could put problems with this very powerful move here. Very powerful move, uh, taking some advantage on the position. That's why maybe h4 was same idea, but was better because then h5 is a threat. So maybe, uh, definitely h4 was stronger than h3, but uh, okay, it paid out, not the best day today, but uh, it worked, and if it worked, it, it's good, and uh, we are reaching 1900 now, so thank you guys for your audience, and see you next time.